Law enforcement actually found two teens and an unspecified weapon about a block or so away from the high school. They let one of those teens go and during the initial search, many students and teachers were left waiting inside the school during the lockdown, wondering what was going on outside tonight. Many parents want better communication from the district. At no time were shots fired. At no time did we actually see a gun. Police, deputies, and troopers swarm Fremont High School after a student tells administrators they saw a classmate carrying a gun inside. A search began of the uh, building. We had to set up a perimeter around the building. Fremont High School went into a two and a half hour lockdown around four Thursday afternoon. Just blocks away in elementary school, the YMCA and Midland University followed suit. We did have some uh, workouts that were going on in the gymnasium area. We had some practices going in on in the auditorium area. And then students that were receiving additional help from teachers. Junior Sarah Prawl was one of those students inside, making up a math test when the call for a lockdown came over the loudspeaker. My teacher locked the door, and it was just me and another student in the classroom, so we just like went to the like a corner away from the door and I got my phone and I texted my dad. Those texts reading, we're in a lockdown at school. I'm so scared. This is legit. I love you, okay? They didn't tell us anything and in fact the teacher, like she had no idea what was going on. That has Sarah's father, Brad Prawl, frustrated. He rushed to the high school to see what was going on. We heard nothing from the school until 622 and at that time I was already here with my daughter in hand. All students were released by 630 and walked to safety at this church. Church. Glad his daughter and all other students are okay. Prawl hopes for change in the future. That we need to have better communication. The school superintendent says they followed protocol. We don't want to prematurely release information. Um, when uh, parents uh, did arrive at the school, uh, we addressed the parents that came and shared with them uh, the process that was going on with inside the school building. Officers did an additional search of the high school to make sure everything was safe, and I'm told classes will resume as normal here tomorrow morning. The superintendent tells me he's proud of the student who came forward and reported the weapon to administrators, and the superintendent says he'll remind all students tomorrow, if you see something, say something. Reporting live in Fremont, Taylor Barth, KETV, Newswatch 7.